few items in Skyblock are more elusive than the Golden Ball Reforged Stone, the item that sent the entire Skyblock community on a wild goose chase for a month, and spanned across two Skyblock islands, several forum posts, an admin's Twitter account, and hundreds of dedicated players. It all started April 21st, 2021. The Skyblock 1.11.4 update had just come out, revamping the farming islands, adding a bunch of stuff, and more specifically, four Reforge stones. Um. Three of these were relatively simple to get, bringing an Oasis Rabbit or Oasis Sheep to Jake, or a rare drop from the Treasure Hunter. However, the fourth stone, the Golden Ball, was completely unaccounted for. Given that two of the stones were from the Jake NPC, and only one of them was from the Treasure Hunter, people rightfully assumed that the Golden Ball was probably just a rare drop. Day one went by, and nobody found it, so it was probably a very very rare drop. Day two went by, and again, still nobody had found it. By day three, most people had forgotten about it, or just assumed it was yet another unfinished feature added by the admins that simply doesn't work or just hasn't been added yet, and completely forgotten about it. And thus, the golden ball fell out of people's minds. May 14th, 2021. Fast forward three weeks, and Deuces, a Hypixel admin who designed this Reforge stone, puts out the following tweet. Random stat, since its release in the 0.11.4 update, only one person has figured out how to obtain the Golden Ball Reforged Stone, and with this single tweet, the hunt was on. So, what the community knew is that exactly one player had found it, and whoever this player was had simply told nobody. Even today, as this hunt is already over, the first player to ever obtain this has not come forward. Anyhow, later that same day, Deuces joined a lobby and started giving out a bit more information, and this information was shared online by a player called Carrick, which was then compiled into a single forum post by another player called Kev527, who would later go on to be one of the leaders in the search for this Reforged Stone. From these messages, we could deduce haha, <laughs> get it? That the ball is obtained from the farming islands, the player who found it is not an admin, it could be a secret NPC, the reforge isn't actually that good, and it has nothing to do with the hungry hiker. Following this information, most players took it and tried a few things to try and get the ball themselves, but two main groups also formed around the hunt. The Kaushet team and the Golden Ball elites, who both compiled everything they knew in order to find it. May 15th, 2021. The Kaushet team decides to post all of their findings in a forum post, appearing defeated. They tried bringing elusive tracking animals to Ava, they tried bringing every single animal to Jake at once, they tried clicking Farmer John during a sugarcane event. Why did you even think this would work? They even tried some X3 texture packs, which I am not legally allowed to condone. Consenting after just one day, Kev posts all of the information publicly and invites other players to submit things they had tried. This forum post would later become the central hub for the entire hunt. May 16th, 2021. Popular YouTuber Dragoon joins the hunt, working with the Cowchat team to try various absurd things you can see in his video. Kev updated their forum post with more things. This time, they tried giving minions to John or Jake, tried taking every sea creature up to Jake, tried giving John every single sugarcane item in the game, looked for secret passages with replay mode, taking the Oasis sheep to the shepherd, planting cocoa beans literally everywhere, giving Jake pets, doing 250 treasure hunt quests. A player asks what the specific coordinations for the update artwork image is, and Minutloon responds with an image of a man holding up a detective badge. It is unknown what this means, but one person believed they were onto something. Player Zero Limits had discovered that in the Japanese version of Pokemon, trust me, this is relevant, 
there is an item called Nugget, which looks like a golden ball, and the Japanese translation roughly means golden ball. You could even obtain one of these items in an area called Mumu Farms, between four cows, which seemed related considering the whole farming island thing. Spoiler alert, it had nothing to do with the golden ball at all. May 17th, 2021. Another YouTuber, Ari the Monkey, joins in the hunt, trying a few things. However, he wouldn't release his video until the hunt was almost over. A few more ridiculous things were tested, like saying sugarcane 2000 times to John, investigating the empty desert house, fishing in decorative flower pots, dyeing tractor sheep yellow, poisoning water sources? using Super Boom TNT on trees to try and shake something out of them. People were really losing their minds. On this day, a sizable bounty was also set up by Ari the Monkey. Several players all agreed to contribute a large sum of coins to give to the first person to find the ball. In total, these players put together a bounty of 587 million coins, close to 750 million if you include the items put towards it too. The only stipulation? They have to share the method. May 18th, 2021. Still no luck. Cowshed decides to go even more public with their hunt, opening the invitation to the public and inviting players to try to claim the bounty. 3,200 people sign up to join the hunt and try whatever they can. Not many things were tried this day. On this day, on Australian time, Dragoon posts his video about the hunt and is watched by over a hundred thousand people. Still no progress is made at all. May 19th, 2021. A group of people believe they're onto something. The Golden Ball Elites discover a hidden NPC near the Mushroom Desert Portal, which they found by accidentally placing a Power Orb there and seeing a message telling them they cannot place a Power Orb so close to an NPC. They set up a Discord server around this discovery in the hopes to investigate it more and find out if it's related to the hunt in any way. It was just a bug and had nothing to do with it. The server continued to test some theories and designed roles to people, giving them things to try. Deuces, watching this clown show, begins to get a little bored. Little did they know, tonight was the last night they would sleep without finding the golden ball. May 20, 2021. At around 9am local time, Deuces goes into another desert lobby to drop another hint. Deuces. Is fishing related to the orb? Good question. The screenshot is posted to Cowshed. A few minutes later, he tweets the following. Here's something that may be a hint or a red herring. On the forums, there's a giant list of things that have been tried. Looking at that list and then at our internal stats, I can say that some things that are marked as tried or tested have not actually been tried. Six days of progress completely erased. Everything was back on the table. One hour and three minutes later, player Aspart of the Aya puts the first golden ball on the auction house. He does not share the method. Shortly after, players Dojo and Caster Toy both go to post the method in Cowshed literally seconds apart, ending the hunt with a tweet from Deuces. Half of the bounty went to Aspect of the Aya, a quarter went to Dojo, and a quarter went to Caster Troy, as it was impossible to tell which of them had actually found it first, and Aspect of the Aya did not share the method as per the terms and conditions of the bounty. It actually didn't matter if they did or didn't share it, because in the NBT data of the item, it literally said Origin tag, shop underscore purchase, entity underscore required, skeleton underscore emperor, which basically said everything a player needed to know, and the golden ball was all over the auction house within minutes. A player just had to take a sea emperor up the hill to Jade to unlock the ability to buy an infinite amount of golden balls. The reforge isn't even that good. 
It gives you a bit of farming fortune and 0.2 coins each time you break a crop. Except the hunt could have been over a lot earlier. As it turns out, there was a bug where the sea emperor and most sea creatures would actually despawn if you took them above y equals 120, meaning it was almost impossible to get them to jake regardless. Simple Origin, the leader of Lost in Space, actually tried this on May 15th and told people it didn't work because he physically could not do it. He wasn't the only person, either. I counted 31 individual, unique people who had suggested or marked bringing an emperor to Jake in unedited messages, and at least 4 individuals who had tried it and reported it that it was impossible, which is why it was written off so early into the hunt. The only way people were actually able to do this was using a necromancer item to trap an emperor's soul. So the real, earliest recorded mentions of bringing a sea emperor to Jake were on the 25th of April by Mine and Adventurer and Jack3D in the Cowshed Discord server. And thus concludes the story of the Golden Ball a month-long hunt for an item that could have been over in a single day. Huge shoutouts to everyone who was involved in this hunt, and congratulations to the winner of the bounty. I'll see you guys in the next item scavenger hunt. Oh, and thank you to everyone who helped me document the history for this video. You guys are cool.